Well, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, it's always a privilege to be in God's house. Amen? Amen. It's always a special day. It's always a great day to get up and to know that you're a Christian and know that Jesus Christ has saved you and that uh, we're on our way to a heavenly place to spend time with Him and to honor Him. So today we've come and it's a special day in several ways. Uh, first of all, it's a special day because uh, it's Mother's Day. So this is how we're going to do it today. We're going to do it this way. If you are a mom of the fewest children, the most children, the oldest children, the youngest children, <laughs> if you came from the furthest, the shortest way, all of you are pretty, so all moms stand up. Because moms, we think all of you are very special today, and we think you're so special, I believe there were two gifts when you came in for you. One of them was a facade that you got, and the other one is another little special gift for you to take home. So we think you are very special. We love you. We thank you for all that you do in the home. We thank you for all that you do in the church. We thank you for all that you do in the community. And I would say probably we don't thank you enough. And so today we're going to say thank you. So everybody say it with me on the count of three. Tell the mom, you don't have to thank. Well, I'll tell you what. You can thank each other, okay? <laughs> on the count of three. Here we go. All of us say it. One, two, three. Thank, thank you. you. From our hearts. We thank you. And now let's give them a hand. And if you look around, if you see these moms, be sure in a few moments in our welcome time that you uh, hug their neck. And just tell them once again that you love them and you appreciate them so very much. So moms, you may be seated. Now we have another special thing today. We have a baby dedication. So we're going to ask uh, Fairly Ann Field and all of her family to make their way up to the front. All of the family. All of the family. Now I know all of you as a congregation are probably ready to stand up because you think she's part of your family too. And that's okay. But I want to see and I want to recognize all of our family. And all of you just come up front. We have plenty of room for you up here. <laughs> and a beautiful family it is. And as we come together today, we think about family. We think, first of all, about the immediate family that's here. Then we think about even the extended family that's here. We think about a community family that some are out there and some are here. We think about a church family, which is here, and most of us here. Some of us may be out today because they're with their families. We think of God's family. So when we come together... And we come together for a baby dedication. We come together as just one big, large family. And we've come there today to do this, to dedicate this baby, Fairly Anfield, back to the Lord. He dedicated and gave it to us, and so we're going to give it back to the Lord today, or give her back to the Lord, and uh, this is a special time. Well, we also say in this process that we're dedicating this Lord, this baby back to the Lord, and we're uh, going to dedicate ourselves as a congregation to this baby uh, and to this family. We also make it known that this is not a time of salvation. This is a time of dedication. And what we're doing is we're making our dedication to her, and we're making our commitment to her to say we're going to do everything we can to help this baby to grow up in the admonition of the Lord so she'll know all about the Lord. And when she comes to that time, the appropriate time as the Holy Spirit works in her life, she will accept Jesus Christ as her personal Savior. And I can say firsthand, she is on the road right now with this immediate family, even this immediate family, extending to the family of uh, being shown Jesus Christ in her life. Amen? Amen. Amen. And so she is on the road for... Uh, her way to salvation today, we're going to dedicate her back to the Lord. I'm going to, here in a few moments, I'm going to read uh, the part here in the bulletin that you have. And if you'll be ready, parents, and say your part. And congregation, if you'll be ready for your part to, to say it. And then we'll have the presentation of the Bible and the special prayer. The child you hold is a gift from your Heavenly Father. Before the thought of a little girl entered your mind, the Lord had already determined that Fairley would be born and you, Freeman, and Candace would become parents. Fairley's birth is therefore an occasion to celebrate and reflect on God's goodness. Freeman, Candace, what is your response? We are blessed. 
Spiritual commands, uh, Scripture commands you as parents to teach your child about the Lord Jesus Christ. Only then will she be adequately equipped for the challenges of this life and sufficiently prepared to meet the Lord when He returns. But your child's spiritual welfare will not be accomplished simply by telling her about Jesus. It is the words of your mouth combined with the obvious presence of the Holy Spirit in your own life that will effectively communicate the message of God's love and saving power to your child. The birth of your daughter needs to inspire within the both of you a greater resolve to let Christ shine through you by being even more intentional in your pursuit of holiness and the supremacy of God in your home. Freeman, Candace, what is your response? We are committed. As a pastor, we are all part of the family of God. As a family, we need to work alongside Freeman and Candace in their efforts to portray Christ to their child. Are we merely spectators, or will we rise to the challenge of being brothers and sisters in Christ and exhibit godly characteristics and thus provide continuity in what is being taught at home and what is being seen at church? Congregation, what is your response? We are family. And as a family... We must also be willing to hold one another accountable and confront one another when a mistake is made in order that the purity and integrity of our commitments are maintained. You have heard Freeman and Candace state their commitment to a greater level of Christ-likeness for the sake of their child. Will you now acknowledge their commitment and indicate your willingness to help them keep their promise? Church, what is your response? Now I ask if uh, Holly would come up and be ready to present the Bible and the rose. And I'm pretty sure, Holly, you might have something to say. And then, John, if you'll be ready to come up and to lead us in our time of prayer. And family, church family, we appreciate so much your dedication and love to this family. I'm sorry, Holly, I have not I was giving instructions. I just don't follow them very well. <laughs> I did promise I wasn't going to talk wrong. <laughs> As I sat out there and looked, and Candace holding her child, and Cindy in this generation, this baby has such a foundation. It is, it's just not an option for her to succeed and glorify the Lord. It just, you know, yesterday I had the privilege, sorry, anyone who's going to get mad, but I did have the privilege to hold her. Um, <laughs> And as I sat there and thought about her, you know, it's not, you know, theologically thinking, you know, here's, you know, a child without, but it is, this is, when we hold those infants and we hold those babies, they are, they are free from any imperfections. They are truly as close to heaven as we physically can be. And as I just told her, that's what I thought of yesterday. It, thank you, Candace and Freeman, for letting us be a part of her. Um, this will not be her first flower. This is also not her first um introduction to the to the word of god um this child uh, i saw on candace's pictures several times for this child we prayed and i told john i said okay wait a minute what scripture is that again and, and tell me what that's about that you know god does not ask us for tokens he asks for things that mean the very most to us we're not doing this as a token like oh thank you lord for my child they have truly just presented this child and said lord you have blessed us abundantly Therefore, we are giving the very thing that means the very most to us back to you. And I think we as a family, when we look at this foundation that, that you know, Fairly Ann is going to grow up on, that child has solid foundation to grow up on. Our, many of our children have had the privilege of doing that. And so now to be able to turn that around um, and, and offer that back to you, it is, it is truly a privilege. I love you guys so wholeheartedly. So. <laughs> she said, I love you, Miss Holly. <laughs> John said, It's a cute dress. Yes. Bow your heads with me in prayer, please. Lord, Heavenly Father, we, we come to you today on this beautiful day that you created and set forth. So many, so many light years ago, Lord, you knew this day would be taking place. You knew that you would bless this family with this child. Your word tells us that children are blessings from you, and we believe that, Lord, and we thank you for it. 
And Lord, I just pray that you would bestow your Holy Spirit's presence in her life, throughout her life, Lord, that she may one day become have a personal relationship with you. I know you have great things in store for her. And you will make her a light in this world, Lord, and people will be drawn to her as they are drawn to Christ. And thank you for that, Lord. I pray, pray for Candace and Freeman, that you would give them the wisdom and guidance and seek you as they raise her, Lord, and that you would also grant them patience. And uh, I know that you will, Lord, and I know that they will be blessings to her, as she will be a blessing to them. And I pray these things in your holy name. Amen.